Hello, uh, this is part two of the um, discussion on Cushing syndrome or adrenal hypersecretion um, or if you want to use another word, excessive corticosteroids, excessive secretion of corticosteroids. Let's get to the different types of this problem, okay? Well, um, excessive, excessive secretion of the hormones uh, of the adrenal gland can have two causes. One, they can be external. Two, they can be internal. Internal, external. Endogenous, internal. Exogenous, external. Let's get with the exogenous first. Well, you know what? The, uh, let's say a patient is on long-term therapy of glucocorticoids, corticosteroids, for whatever reason, arthritis, uh, COPD. Well, he uh, may may uh, end up, after a while, uh, develop signs and symptoms of Cushing's syndrome. Prolonged use of high-dose corticosteroid administration is the number one cause, is the number one cause of Cushing's syndrome. Now, there can be some internal, internal causes, endogenous, all boil down to some sort of tumors, okay? some type of tumors. The adrenal gland itself can have a neoplasm um, and it will cause uh, the gland to hypersecrete glucocorticoids. Um, ACTH, increased ACTH, remember ACTH from the pituitary gland rules the activity of the adrenal glands. If ACTH is in mass amounts, mass activity by the adrenal glands. If ACTH is little, 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 you'll have little, 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 little activity by the adrenal glands. Well, now, I have tumor down here. I have tumor. Well, you can have a pituitary tumor, a, a pituitary tumor, and that will cause hypersecretion of ACTH. Now, when it is caused by a pituitary tumor, you call it Cushing's disease, Cushing's disease. Don't get mixed up. It's not Cushing's syndrome at that point. It's called Cushing's disease when it's a pituitary tumor. By the way, women are eight times more um, probable. Eight more. We have eight times eight times more women get this than men. All right. Also, lung cancer. Weird. Uh, here it is. You know, you got cancer in the lung, and they're secreting uh, ACTH, not from the pituitary, but from from a tumor right there. It could be even the pancreas. All right. Now, by the way, all other causes besides Cushing disease. All other causes of increased glucocorticoid is called, or, uh, is called Cushing's syndrome. It's called Cushing's syndrome. If you say Cushing's syndrome, you're, you say it's not being caused by a tumor in the pituitary gland. All right, now, the clinical picture. Signs and symptoms reflects excessive secretion of glucocorticoids. Sometimes the mineral corticoids, aldosterone, uh, might be in abundance also. Well, Here's the picture. Here's the back. Here's the front. Let's start with the face. Uh, moon face. Moon face. And caused probably by um, excessive water you know, and fast, but water. That's not the moon face we're talking about. This is the moon face. And this lady, you notice she has a moon face, but look at this. She's got a kind of a beard, or not a beard, but facial hair. That's her sutism. Um, that's one of the symptoms. Let's talk about her mood. She will have mood shifts, she'll be irritable, she'll have anxiety. Now, let me give you some good news. When we get this syndrome under control, this will all just go away. It's all go away. Oh, that's good news. But when she's like this, uh huh. All right, so mood shifts, uh, facial hair, moon face, uh, or hirsutism. Then remember that um, excessive glucocorticoids secreted by the adrenal glands. One of the things it does is protein wasting. Um, the matrix in the connective tissue um, goes down. There's a lack of collagen. You remember collagen is connective tissue. And the patient goes through a um, general state of protein breakdown, if you will. What that will cause, the skin will be real, real thin, real friable, easily breaks. Um, they'll have delayed wound healing because of the protein wasting. And then look at these extremities, how thin they are. Protein wasting, protein wasting. They don't have the muscles there. 
because protein wasting. And to boot, osteoporosis. Osteoporosis. Um, look at that. Um, that's a cast. And, and um, that's kind of show that they can, they can break their bones easy. Again, um, the patient, again, has the um, large trunk out of proportion to the extremities. That's called truncal, truncal obesity. And they got, if you turn them around, they got a, a, a fat pad on the upper part of the back below the neck. That's called a buffalo hump. Um, truncal obesity and the buffalo hump are characteristic of Cushing syndrome. Let's look at the labs real quick. Um, electrolytes, very, very important. Very, very important. Hypernatremia, that's a, a blood sodium level or uh, greater than 145. That's going to cause her to retain water and could or probably will give her high blood pressure. There's some hypos in this. Hypokalemia, which is low potassium, less than 3.5. Hypocalcemia, uh, a number uh, lower than 8.5. Um, these are very important electrolytes. Um, you don't want to be low on potassium. Um, could, could cause cardiac dysrhythmias. That's uh, very serious. Uh, CBC, they, for some reason, um, increased red blood cell production. White, white blood cells, agranulocytosis, which means low neutrophils, low eosinophils. Um, neutrophils help you fight the day-to-day -day infections. And if those go down, you're really prone to infection. Um, so, uh, low white count. Or, now, hyperglycemia, hyperglycemia and glycosuria. When you uh, remember that the glucocorticoids influence the river, the liver, not the river, the liver, to uh, make sugars. That's called glyconeogenesis. But um, the sugar levels go high. And if it goes over like 180, the kidneys can't retain that sugar. They don't reabsorb it in the nephron, and some of it spills over into the urine, okay? So that's glycosuria. And also, insulin doesn't quite work as well with high levels of glucocorticoids. Uh, this test here, the dexamethasone suppression test. Dexamethasone suppression test. See, um, this is a steroid, and when you take it, it should cause, in the pituitary gland, the ACTH levels being secreted to be much, much less, much, much less. And consequently, with much, much less ACTH, the adrenal glands work little, 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 okay? So what we're doing is um, um, giving dexamethasone, and it should tell the pituitary gland, basically, that um, we don't need any more glucocorticoids, so it shouldn't suppress uh, it should suppress the ACTH secretion. Um, how they follow this, 17-hydroxycorticosteroid, a big word, finally got it, 17-hydroxycorticosteroid and cortisol. Now, both of these um, are glucocorticoids in not so many ways, glucocorticoids. But this isn't glucocorticoids in the urine, and this is glucocorticoids what? In the blood. So you can monitor the blood and the urine. And um, these uh, should, should be lower, should be lower um, as a result of this test. Um, imaging tests, they have to check for tumors. So what are you talking about? An MRI and a CAT scan um, is in play here. There's probably a lot more to say. These are a few of the basics. Bye.